What's up, it's you? For today's video, we'll be full Gulpin Evolution team. So we got Gulpin and we've got Swalot. I've got the abilities here as Liquid Ooze, Sticky Hold, and Gluttony. Now, out of all these abilities, I'd say that Gluttony is the one you're going to be using the most. Sticky Hold and Liquid Ooze are kind of situational. I actually just did recently some theme teams on those two abilities, if you like them. I've got three battles today with the Gulpin Evolution team, and I really hope you enjoy. So first, our opponent here, we got one against uh, Nutty Natty, and we got a Snorlax lead. Now, Gulpin, i got to say this. Is there anyone out there that likes Gulpin and Swallow? I feel like this is a Pokemon that everyone forgets about and that no one likes. Is there anyone out there that does like them? Let me know in the comment section of the video. All right, we got this pretty cool Gulpin set here. I've got a Dream Eater, Yawn, Protect, and Belt set. I've got the ability Gluttony and the item as Citrus Berry. I've got Max Health EV and Max Special Attack EVs for the spread. I think it's just really interesting that uh, Golpin actually gets Dream Eater out of all of the moves. So in comes uh, Gastron here. Gastron is actually a pretty scary Pokemon. It's going to be going for a Body Slam on my Golpin, and it's going to get paralyzed. Now, I know someone's going to do like that, uh, like that Swallow and Golpin, these nut strokes. So I'm doing it before anyone could do it, all right? There you go. You can't say it anymore unless you come up with something different. So Snorlax is going to be uh, a very, very big problem here. Now, with Swallow. Especially with Swallow, it actually makes uh, quite a good uh, physical or and special attack. You do lots of like different things and like different roles here, but I don't know, like it, it's just it, it just doesn't really have anything amazing going for it apart from its uh, like health. I mean, it, it, it's health and attack and special attack are good. It just doesn't its abilities don't really like do much, and it's just it's just a poison type. That's it. So. Maybe, like, if you... Okay, as this is a question, right? If you had to do something to swallow it to improve it, what would it be? Like, would you add another type to it? Like, would you give it a new move? Like, let me know what you think. So, Salamence going to be sliding in here against my Gulpin, and Gulpin's going to be using projection. So, we've got a, a Dragon Claw Salamence here. I need to actually take this out. There's only really one Pokemon on my team that can do that. Uh, Salamence is going to be going for another Dragon Claw here. I tried to, like, stall him out there, but uh, Gulpin is going to be uh, fainting there. I actually think I've done more... I think Gulpin's been in my videos more lately in the last two to three weeks than it's ever, ever been. So... This, this might be the last time you see Gulpin and Swallow for a very, very long time. So we're going to bring in the uh, Swallow. This is my this is definitely my favorite set. I've got Ice Beam, uh, Shadow Ball, Belch, and Pain Split. I've got Max Health and Max Special Act, Modest Nature. And Birth is also going to be Gluttony, and I've got Staff Berry as the item. So uh, Gluttony is going to activate the berry at half health and hoping I could roll a special attack boost for plus two or even a speed boost that would be all right or even like defensive special man. so it's pretty good like the only one that would be kind of bad would be a well, would be bad would be attack and you know speed not really going to give it too much however we're going to get rid of that salamance which is going to be very very good now I can't use belch right away I need my berry to be activated and then I could use it so I thought it'd be pretty fun to run belch on this set with star fairy like a, a pretty uh, interesting uh, you know, kind of move combination so I'll be using two Gulpin and two Swalot as well they, this team is very very weak to ground type as you can imagine too like uh, you know, Gastron so Gastron's going to be having the earth power here on my Swalot and that absolutely just dominates it and nothing I could have done there at all now I do have one Pokemon that can get rid of Gastron and that's going to be Swalot number two so this Swalot is a physical attacking set now, I've got this as Bullet Seed, Explosion, Gunk Shot, and I've also got Earthquake. Max Health and Max Special... Uh, sorry, Max Health and Max Attack. So, very, very similar EVs to my Special Attacking one, in instead of just running Max Attack into the Max Special Attack. Uh, the item I've got here is Black Sludge, and the ability is going to be Liquid Ooze. So, Snorlax is going to be able to eat my attacks all day. I mean, I've got Gunk Shot. I might be able to get a Poison. That's about it, but... I was sort of like worried about getting hit by a, a, a ground type move too. So here comes Gunk Shot. Pretty good damage here on the Snorlax. I was happy with that. And uh, I, got the, I got the poison, which is very, very good. Now Snorlax is going to go for a belly drum. It doesn't work, thank goodness. Um, also, currently, I'm still away on holiday at the moment. Um, I'll be back 
on... No, I'll, be back on I'll be back on Saturday. So a couple of days there. But I'm doing these videos in advance. So if you're watching the video right now, I did this on... I'm doing this on like... What's the day today? Like Sunday, I did, I'm doing this video. Next Pokemon is going to be the Glalie. Uh, I got rid of the Snorlax, which is good. We're going to swap out the uh, Swallot because I really, really need uh, the Swallot to handle that, uh, that Gastron, you know? So Glalie's going to use a Ice Fang. And I'm going to be able to take that very, very well. This Swallot... Uh, Gulpin is a Amnesia Acid Armor Rest and Acid Spray uh, set. I mean, Gulpin and Swallow, it's not like they've got bad moves. They've got, like, a lot of different... Like, they can use all different kinds of moves, too. Like, it's not like... Even, like, it's like support moves, like, a special attacking, attacking moves. It's, it's got great moves. It's just... I don't know, like, I, I just think it's typing needs to be better, you know, instead of just, like, poison. And, I don't know. So, anyway, uh, Glady's going to try and use acid, uh, sorry, um, he's going to try and use Ice Fang against me, and I've got Acid Spray. So, Acid Spray is going to drop the special attack two stages on the Glady. I'm pretty confident I can actually take this one out. So, I've got, um, my EV spread. I've got this as max health and max defense bold nature. So that's why I'm taking these attacks like really, really well. Like, And I've got Chester Berry as the item and I've got Res and Acid Spray as an Amnesia. So it's a very, very bulky set. Um, unfortunately, Golpin is not going to be able to beat the Glalie, but it, it got some pretty good damage off of it before it did faint. So now we're going to bring in the Swallow here. I've got to try and take out the Glalie and the Gastron. So this is a 4v4 battle to uh, by the way. So Glalie is going to go for an Ice Fangy on Golpin and uh, Swallot, I mean. And I'm going to go for Gunk Shot. And of course, it's going to miss. That's the thing about Gunk Shot. That's his best move, and it can, you know, it's best stab move, and it can still miss. So here comes another Ice Fang, and I missed two Gunk Shots in a row, which sucks, because now Glalie got like a lot of extra damage off there against me. Glalie's going to go for another Ice Fang here. That's almost put me at half health, and finally Gunk Shot does connect on the Glalie, and it does take it out. But I took a lot of unnecessary damage there, and I'm not sure whether Gastron is going to outspeed me or not, or am I going to get like the first go? That, you know, that's the question here. I mean, I've got bullets, see? That's going to be good. Uh, next Pokemon is Gastron, or last Pokemon. Gastron's already taken it. I do outspeed with the Swallow. There's the first bullet punch. And, sorry, bullet seed. And there's the second bullet seed. And Gastron is going to be fighting. And that, my friends, is the very first battle. Uh, that was very, very good. They're like Swallow definitely carrying the battle. Or both of the Swallows definitely carrying the battle. Uh, thank you, Na uh, Nati, Nati, for the battle. Interesting training. And then let's get on to battle number two. Uh, this is a battle against uh, Leeton. And we've got an interesting team here as well. I believe this is a uh, this is a 4v4 battle too. So Swallot is going to be my lady, the shiny Swallot. Actually, it's got a pretty good shiny uh, a Swallot. I'll give it that. And this is a, yeah, this is the 4v4 uh, battle here too. So go for Ice Beam right off the bat there. Shroomish Stable lived that pretty well actually. And it's going to be going for a Leech Seed. So dropping some seeds uh, around my Swallot. But Ice Beam is still a two-hit KO. Like maybe, I don't know, like Shroomish would have to go for like another... A, another cut, like quite a few protects there to be able to you know, live another ice beam. So it's got some uh, leech seed uh, recovery there on a little shroomish. Like maybe one more. Um, I don't know if it's got protect though. So I'm going to go for ice beam here and that is going to be enough to take out the shroomish. So bye bye shroomish. Now you might be able to guess here what this team is because we've got a Breloom. So we got a uh, an evolution team versus the evolution team. It's a shroomish and uh, Breloom team. I actually haven't done this team myself. Uh, I'm trying to think of I'm trying to think of Shroomish and Bro. Has Shroomish and Brelin been confirmed for Gen 9 yet? I'm trying to remember on the spot here. I don't think they have. Correct me if I am wrong though, but uh, uh, regardless, we're gonna have a Star Fairy activation there from the uh from the gluttony and oh my goodness, this swallow is on like a rampage now. Now this swallow I've almost got like two sweeps with already, but I don't know. I think I just got unlucky in the end because it got outsped, but it was hitting very, very hard. Next Pokemon's going to be Breloom here. Breloom's going to go for bullets. I'm like, I don't think that's going to take it out. So there's one bullet seat. Uh, there's another bullet seat. That's only two. And it's hitting me a lot of times there. So I'm like, okay, if it hits me with five, it's going to take me out. That'll be very lucky. And Breloom managed to land all five bullet seeds on my Swallow. I think that was... A I want to say that was a Swallot sweep if Breloom wasn't able to, you know, you know take it out there. So, uh, that was, that's a, it's a bit of a crazy set, that one, if you can get the Staff Berry to roll. Next Pokemon we're going to bring in is going to be Gulpin. And uh, Gulpin uh, is, is going to take a little bit more damage to Bullet Seed than the Swallot did. But still, it's going to be able to resist that very nicely. I'm going to uh, get hit by another Bullet Seed here. This is 
the Dream Eater Yawn and Protect Belt set. So I wanted to get that Yawn happening, and then I could get the Dream Eater going, because Dream Eater would be super effective. The only the only problem about this set is uh, the fact that uh, the, the opponent can just swap out once I use Yawn here, you know what I mean? So that was the weakness of this set. So I, I, I tried to make it so the opponent would have one poke all left, but most of the time that, you know, that didn't happen. So Broly is going to keep spamming Bullet Seed against me. They're definitely, it's a best attack. And Golpin is going to faint there because it's got King Drop. So it's a King Drop Bullet Seed set. I, 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 I totally never, ever run anything like that in my life, you know. Next Pokemon is going to be my second Swallow. This is my uh, physical set. Uh, Brelim's going to keep going for Bullet Seed here. Uh, I'd say, like, it's kind of, it's a bit of a rough matchup when you think about it for Shroomish versus, uh, uh, like, Swallot and Golpin because it really can't use its fighting type move. And, like, both of the moves are resisted by poison type. So it's it's kind of bad. So uh, here comes another Bullet Seed there. And I got flinched here. I was like, man, I, I, just, I hope when I get, like, flinched, like, a thousand times because if my, if my Swallot faints, all I've got left is my Golpin. And that Golpin's going to need to, uh, you know, be able to handle this Breloom and another shroomish after that so it's going to be uh it's going to be pretty nasty so getting hit by another barrage of bullet seeds here another, another three of them finally i swallow gets his attack off i went for explosion here i didn't want to risk i get like i didn't want to risk an attacking move against this because i had gunk shot but gunk shot could have missed i bullet see bullet seeds gonna do nothing earthquake that's not gonna do anything so i just went for explosion and the explosion guaranteed me the ko on that Breloom there, which is good. So the last Pokemon is the uh, Shroomish. So two Shroomish and two uh, Breloom. My last Pokemon is going to be Golpin. So Golpin, this is the... Oh, this is the really, really tanky set, which is cool. Uh, so this one is the Sticky Old. So I've got Liquid. This one, If I didn't mention, I had Sticky Old on this one. And the other uh, the other Swallow had uh, Liquid Ooze, the physical one. So I used Gluttony. Uh, sticky Hold and Liquid Ooze. I tried to make use of all the abilities in one Pokemon battle. So uh, we got a Facading Shroomish here. I'm going to go for Acid Spray and try and drop its Special Defense. So it does a pretty good amount of damage there too. Um, I've got Max... Uh, I've got Max Defenses. So I'm pretty bulky. If I wasn't running Max Defense, this would be doing like a lot more damage. I guess the good thing about Swallow and Gulpin is they do have a nice high uh, health stat. So that is definitely a positive thing I I'd say about that. Uh, I don't know, like, maybe if it had more if it had more speed, I reckon if it had a, a higher speed stat, that would make it, like, a, a much, much better Pokemon. Um, because it's got everything else, you know? So here comes another facade from the Shroomish here. Uh, Golpin is going to go for a rest, uh, just in case, and I've got that Chesto Berry to wake, uh, wake me up, too. Wake me in, up inside, people. So, uh, Golpin's going to be getting all that health back there. Uh, that, uh, that song came on the radio the other day. So, I'm going to have that Chesterbury wake you up. And Shroomish now is definitely going to be fainting to the next attack, which is going to be my Acid Spray. So, Shroomish goes for its final facade there. No crits, no scum like that. And that is going to be the end of the Shroomish. But a really, really cool team there. I'm definitely going to do a Shroomish team one day myself. I, I might do it this year, or we might do it in Gen 9. just depends. But uh, uh, very, very cool team there. And let's get on to battle number three. Uh, this is a battle against Super so This was the longest battle I had out of uh, all three of them, uh, especially uh, especially with the Gulpin team. It could be on the Gulpin and Swallow team. It'd be quite, uh, especially with that last Gulpin. That's quite a uh, solely set. So first Pokemon here is going to be Golra. I just need to take a drink real quick, people. Oh, there we go. Just having some... Uh, just having a G Fuel Hydration code, salt, 10% off. And uh, we've got a, uh, a Gold Nut going for a Zen Headbutt here. Now, Zen Headbutt up does a pretty good amount of damage. Once again, like this is a very bulky Pokemon. We're going to fire off some Bullet Seeds here. I'm hoping I can get like a good amount to take Gold Nut out. But I only got two. I'm like, oh, that really, really sucks. So, um, unfortunately, the Swallow is probably going to take some unnecessary damage here. But I know that I'll be able to take it out. However, the Gold Nut is going to go for a Disable, which is going to disable my Bullet Seed. I'm like, oh, no. It just sucks. I'm going to have to swap this out or go for... I oh, know I can go for... I guess I can go for Gunk Shot here. Um, so the, the problem is this has got a, a nice, uh, you know, powerful, uh, you know, super effective attack against my entire team. So go for Gunk Shot here on the Golduck, and that is going to be enough to take it out. Thank goodness. I was really worried about actually missing my attack there because, you know, losing, like, especially on this scene, once I lost one Swallow... Heck, both of them, like, it, it was virtually game over because Golpin didn't really do a lot of damage. 
Next Pokemon is going to be Inferno. Pit. Oh, this is also a four versus six battle too. So I'm like the first two. We like, well, four before we got a four v six. So uh, we got the Inferno going for Acrobatics here on my Swallow. I only just lived that one. It was very very close. I'm going to go for Earthquake here on Inferno. Excellent damage, but I didn't quite take it out, which is uh, you know unfortunate. So Swallow's going to get some more uh, left. Uh, sorry, Black Sludge recovery didn't really matter because you know uh, this is a mix. Oh, it's a mix set. So we got Acrobatics and Flamethrower. So bye bye Swallow. So I need to take out this uh, this Inferno. Now thinking about my team here, well, if I how about I go into Swallow here and try and get my Staff Berry to activate? I, I could, you know, I could definitely give that a go. Now I've got Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball will be able to take out the, uh, the, the Inferno easy, but Inferno instead of attacking me, it's got Slack off. So it's, what is this moveset? So it's got Acrobatic Slack off and. Uh, Flamethrower. Like, I actually uh, run a, uh, a bulky Inferno. I, I ran this. It's a pretty cool set if you ever want to try it. I'll, I'll give it to you right now. So we got, uh, it's like it's like max health, right? And it's got max special defense. And it's got bulk up and slack off. And I think I gave it some uh, like other coverage moves there. It was, it was pretty cool to actually use it. So maybe maybe give it a go. Um, it, it's, it's pretty cool. And I gave it like leftovers too. Like it was sort of unsuspecting because it would like leave some nice special moves. So that's going to be the end of the Inferno up there. Flygon comes in to use his Fissure. I'm not having any of that at all. Flygon can have a nice ice beam in the face there. And that is the end of the Flygon. I, I would have been done if that landed if I lost my uh, small up there. So that's half the team down there. The next Pokemon to come in is going to be Geodude. So Geodude is uh, going to get hit very, very hard by the Ice Beam there. And it's going to have the Sturdy ability. But Geodude, uh, the funny thing is, it got frozen. It got frozen into a little block of ice there. And I can go for any attacking move to take it out. So poor Geodude. I feel like that would have actually like killed Geodude. So we're going to go for Shadow Ball there. A little bit of disrespect. And uh, Geodude is going to be fated. And now there's only two more Pokemon left. That's a lucky little free sack there. I, I don't know. Like maybe G I'd say Geodude would have had a ground type move. That would have been very bad. So Meganium swaps in. Then uh, then swaps out and goes into Hypno. So Hypno is very bulky. So I'm going to need to uh, hit this thing pretty hard. So it's going to see what uh, it's going to see what my highest attacking move, scariest attacking move is. But uh, you know, I think they already know that already. So Ice Beam's not doing a lot there. Hypno is going to go for a Hypnosis. So. Hypno is a psychic type Pokemon, so it does have the type advantage, but I just don't know what sort of set it's gonna be, you know? Like, is it special? Is it physical? And it's gonna be physical, so another Zen Hit Budding Pokemon. That does a lot of damage to Swallow up, but uh, the problem is here, I'm actually sleeping, and I've I've only got two Golpins left, so Star Pro is gonna activate, and I got a special attack rise on it. Oh, that would have been so good. Imagine if I woke up there and got that attacking move on. I was going for Shadow Ball, uh, by the way, on the special. That, that would have dropped Hypno. Easy. So Swallow is going to fake there. I actually got very, very good luck with that Swallow. Like, I rolled Star Fairy uh, special attack a lot of, like, loads and loads of times. So we're going to go into my Amnesia, Acid Armor, Rest, and Acid Spray set. So I thought, I should be bulky enough to be able to live this. How about I go for Acid Armor? Three times, you know, I should be good. So now Hypnosis is going to come from the uh, Hypno again, and it's going to put the uh, the Gulpin to sleep. That's okay. That's fine. I believe I can live these attacks. So Chester Bear is going to give me a free turn there to get another Acid Armor up. So now I've got a really good health stat, and I've got max health, sorry, max health, max defense with Acid Armor, two Acid Armor, so plus four in defense. So the only way for this Hypno to get around me would be... For me to sleep for like an abnormally long amount of time or get critical hit by the Zen Headbutt. So here comes Zen Headbutt and I was going to show you what the damage is going to be. It's very minimal. So Gulpin is good. So now Gulpin's going to wake up and it's going to go for Amnesia. Now I don't know what that... um. I don't know so far. There's been a couple of crazy mix sets. So, Megadia might have a special attacking move. So, I just threw up the uh, Amnesia there just in case. You know, it's already got pretty good uh, you know, uh, bulk there as it is. So, dropping him no special defense again. I feel I can beat this thing. I just have to keep attacking with Acid Spray. Here comes another Zen Headbutt. And Zen Bud does have a chance of flinching too. But I don't really care about that. I'm just going to keep attacking over and over. So, Hypno's one hit away there. I get a good critical hit. I don't think it's going to matter too much because the next hit was going to take it out anyway. And now we got the uh, Hypno swapping out and we got the Meganium swapping in here. I've also still got my other Golpin in the back there if things do go wrong. So go for Acid Spray on Meganium. Good damage here on the very first hit. This is looking pretty good. I don't know what sort of set this Meganium is going to be. I mean, it can't use any Grass moves. I mean, if it does use a Grass move, it's going to do like hardly any damage at all. So that Reflect, like, Reflect's not really going to do too much. I'm going to go for another Acid Spray. I don't think Meganium's got anything 
nothing to actually hit me with at all. So reflect, and it's got... Oh, okay. It's got my favorite healing move. So I believe it's got nothing to hit me with. I'd say it's got a grass move, but... You know, what sort of grass move is it even going to be able to do there? So I went for another acid armor, so I've got three, I've got three acid armors up now in this thing. It's so tanky. Imagine if this had Everlight. So it does have a grass move, and that is going to be Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf does have a critting chance, but... Even with a crit, it's not going to do too much. So now the Ganium is down to its last little bit of health here. I can simply keep going for Acid Spray to take out Meganium. I mean, Meganium can keep... I'm sure I can keep using a healing move all the time. and uh, But it, it's eventually going to faint. It's going to be at negative six in special, uh, special defense. Now, Hypno could swap into that, which is fine, but... I'm going to drop its defense, a special defense too. And it's only got like a little bit of health there. So finally, Meganium is going to go down there. Clearly, that had nothing to do with me with Meganium at all. Like uh, no coverage moves there uh, whatsoever. So here comes the uh, Hypnosis. Last move here, they're going to go for the Hypnosis. So I've got my Gulpin here. I thought, I wonder if this, um, this is actually interesting. Because my Gulpin actually has the Yawn and Dream Eater combination with Belch there. And I know this doesn't have Insomnia. So if something were to happen to this Gulpin, I actually had a chance there. So I'm going to get uh, hit by another Zen Headbutt. Like, it's going to need like so many of them. So here comes another Zen Headbutt on my uh, Gulpin here. Probably like four or five of them, I, I reckon. With maybe, maybe four or five to take out my Gulpin here. So another Zen Headbutt. This is a third Zen Headbutt. Why I've been sleeping. It's, it's getting pretty close now. I was like, I'm, I hope I'm, I'm going to wake up this turn. And I'm going to get the Acid Spray off here on the Hypno. And finally, the next hit will be enough to actually take it out. Now, Hypno, what it's going to do is go for a Hypnosis, trying to put me to sleep to get around me like it did last time. Thankfully, that did not hit, and Hypno is going to fight. And that is the end of the marathon mini battle there with the Gulpin. Hope you enjoyed the Gulpin uh, Evolution Team. A very unique line, but uh, very interesting. Peace out, people.